out lately, getting them ready for back to school, running, being healthy, having them prepare their own healthy lunches, which brings us to today's segment. Sam Lipman joining us with Hooray Foods. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Uh, California just passed this huge initiative to actually offer more plant-based foods at lunch, trying to keep our kids healthier. So you're going to help us do that and get an early jump start. Absolutely. Thanks for being with us. We hear the sizzle. Hold on. You got it. You come, come right in. A little bit of sizzle on yep. the pan there. This may look like bacon, but it's plant-based bacon. It's plant-based bacon. Okay, so you've got it on on the pan here. How long will this take to cook? Is it just like bacon? Yeah, it's okay. close to bacon. It takes about five minutes. Should to cook. we flip it over? Go ahead. Okay. Um, so uh -huh. it's made of uh, coconut oil and starches, and it fries in its own fat, just like real bacon. Okay. What else? What else is it made out of? Uh, rice flour, tapioca starch, pea starch. Um, okay. And a special ingredient called curdling gum, which helps part of it be chewy. What um, what makes it healthier than bacon? Uh, well, first bacon. of all, it's cholesterol free. Okay. Um, lower fat, lower sodium than real bacon. Um, it, is it ready? Uh, yeah. Can I try it? Go for it. Okay. Are you gonna have some with me for sure. break, breakfast here? Well, we should save some for the okay. sandwich too. Okay. Here. Okay. For the sandwich, yeah. yeah. Let's. Okay. Let's split that. Yeah. So this is on the chewier right. side, but you can cook this to crispy or chewy. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. It doesn't taste like bacon that much, but it is really good. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So kids can fry this up. My kids love frying up their own breakfast in the morning. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the other items you have here. Um, yeah, so if we're talking about school lunches, um, the idea is to plan ahead, make it yeah, easy for yourself. So I took about an hour last night um, just to put together what would be uh, lunches for like you know a few days if not a week. Okay, all right. So I've got homemade trail mix. This chocolate pudding is actually made out of avocados and cocoa powder and maple really? syrup. Really? Yeah. So what do you do? You just whip up the avocado? Um, yeah, in a food processor. All right. About equal amounts of avocado, cocoa powder, and maple syrup, and it'll blend into and a nice pudding. And that's it. Yeah, super Fantastic. easy. Fantastic. Really fun. Okay. Um, made a fresh batch of hummus with chickpeas, tahini, olive oil, garlic, lemon. And that's it. Yeah, there's that's a high protein ingredient. snack, and then fresh vegetables to dip instead of um, instead of fried chips. So this is a really great idea because I like everything that you've shown here mm -hmm. because kids can make it too on their own. Totally. I'm trying to get into the whole you make your own lunch movement because when they make it, they actually eat it. Totally. Because they're like, I made this, I know what it took to put yeah. it in there. And if it's something complicated for another prep, they can help you package it. My kids eat a ton of this stuff. Is this peanut butter and almond butter? What do you got? Um, this there? is it looks a little sunflower different. butter. Sunflower yeah, we butter. Use, we use a lot of it. sunflower butter at my daughter's preschool um, just for allergies. Okay, that's um, a good so point. So it tastes like peanut butter, but hardly anybody's allergic to seeds. You said that you were going to save some of the bacon for the sandwich. Right. This sandwich? Yes. Okay, you're going to put the bacon on that sunflower seed? Yeah, so if you, if you, um, there's a classic sandwich called the Elvis, which is peanut butter, banana, and bacon. Um, so we're going to do sunflower butter and okay. vegan bacon and kind of modernize it. Okay, go ahead, Sam. Yeah. Put it on there because uh -huh. we're going to have to give this a go. All right. And then what is the protein? I forgot. Did you tell me what the protein is? Uh, the protein is in, is in the nut butter. Okay. And well, what about in the bacon? Um, there's no protein in our product, um, mm, but you often eat it with other me. foods. So um, bacon doesn't have a lot of protein to begin with. People don't normally eat it for um, nutritional reasons. Um, oh, <laughs> so it's still healthier than regular bacon by default. It's Protein. a lot of fun, and it's a really good way to replace bacon to make your dish healthier. Okay. And is this jicama? That's jicama. Okay. Cucumber, celery, carrots, you, fresh radishes. You take the jicama and dip it in the yeah. hummus, right? Okay. Right. I'm going to eat the sandwich. Sam okay. Lewis, okay. Here, let me cut it in half for you. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Sam, what are you doing? All right, you're going <laughs> to cut it in half. Okay. Here we go. This will be my first ever Elvis sandwich. Here you go, Sam. With um, plant-based bacon and, again, sunflower. Sunflower butter and bananas. Butter and bananas. Yeah. Okay, here and we go. If you want to, you can put some honey or maple syrup okay, on it to sweeten that, too. Oh. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, you get the salty and the sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Not for you. laughs> All right, I think May has found back the meal you. she likes, and uh, that's going to be it for this segment. Maybe we'll get back to her another time. But she's happy out there, good for her. All right, the weather looks nice outside right now. It's mostly